What's up guys? This is a tutorial for Lexington. I'm finally gonna make it after I posted the original video up like nine months ago. So here you go. Alright, the left hand for the intro is not that hard at all. It's just playing the root and the fifth of the chord. And if you don't know what that means, then you don't, don't worry about it. Alright, here we go. Should sound like this. Start from G. G right here. So go G, D, G. F, C, F. D, A, D. And the, on, the, on this chord right here, you hold it for another measure. So, that's all you do. You repeat that phrase four times. It should be like this. Alright, for the right hand part of the intro, it should flow with the left hand part. So, it should sound like this. Start on B flat. G, A. Then D, A, F. And then G, A, D, B flat. A, G, F, G, A. Alright, I'm going to show you what it sounds like when you take it slow. So let's put the two together. Ready? Alright, here we go. I'll show you guys what the intro looks like. Looks like this. There. All right. Next up is our is a uh, verse. And in the verse, it's all pretty much arpeggios, and they go by pretty quickly. So this one you got to really practice if you want to learn the song. So it's going to start on the G minor arpeggio. So what that sounds like is G, B flat, D. And with the right hand, uh, do the same thing in octave higher. G, B flat, D. Cross over, do the same thing. And then cross over again, this time with the right hand, go G, B flat, C, D, B flat, A, B flat. I'll show you what it sounds like when you take it slow. Alright, ready? Here it is going fast. Alright, the next arpeggio is a D major arpeggio, but this time you're going to start on the on the third of the chord, which means you're going to start on this F sharp right here. So on the, with your middle finger on the left hand, start with an F sharp and go F sharp, A, D, F sharp, A, cross over. Same thing, and then right here, go D, F sharp, A, C, D, B flat, A, B flat. Alright, this is it when you go slowly. Alright, this is it when you're up to speed. Alright, this next arpeggio is an E flat arpeggio. It's gonna start on the root note, so, so with your pinky, start on that E flat all the way here. And then go E flat, G, B flat, E flat, G, B flat, cross over. And right here, flat, G. B flat, then go to D, 
B flat, A, B flat. All right, let's take it slowly. All right, this is it up to speed. All right, the next arpeggio is a D minor. Uh, this one's gonna start on the root note. Uh, right here, which is a D, start with your left hand pinky and follow me. D, F, A, D, F, A, D, F, A, D, F, A. Right here, go D. With your middle finger, jump over to the E flat. Play it one more time. And then the D. Alright, this is it slowly. Alright, here it is up to speed. Alright, the next part is pretty much the same thing we just played. But this time, it's going to be non-stop arpeggios. You're going to have to move your hands uh, back and forth uh, around the piano. And there's pretty much no stopping, no slowing down. And it's played a little differently, so uh, pay careful attention, follow with me, and practice this part along with the part before a lot. Practice it a lot, a lot, a lot. That's like, this is the hardest part of the song, so bear with us. Bear with me, my bad. All right, it should sound like this. Start with a G minor. Move back. All right, next one is a D major. Uh, I personally start with a pinky on the F sharp, but you can start with the middle finger. It doesn't matter. Just start right here. And this is a little different than the one before, so here we go. And and on the D, do not play the C. Do not play this note. And on the D, so it should sound like this. All right, the next one is E flat major. This one is also different. So you're gonna start on the E flat, but this time do not play this G. Do not play it. Skip over to this B flat. So it should sound like this. And then end with the D. So this is what it should sound like. All right, the last one is D minor and this one um, there's nothing different about it, no jumps, whatever, but you're only going to play it once, and once you get to the top, you're going to move on to that little uh, weird pre-chorus thing I made up, so it should sound like this. And then you move on from there. Alright, the next thing I have to tell you is, uh, while you're practic practicing this part, the one thing you need to know is this. Uh, the second time you play this arpeggio, by the time you're at the top note, your left hand pinky or whatever should be at the next note of the next arpeggio. So no matter what, just be ready. Uh, move your fan, uh, move your hands as fast as you can. Um, you're gonna trip up a lot, so this takes a lot of practice. So um, uh, let's try this. I haven't practiced this in a while, so let's see how we sound. <laughs> Yeah, you get the point.